Today we're fortunate enough to be at the home of uh, Doug and, and Marilyn Anderson. Uh, they've been up here since the early 70s. They bought land like a lot of people do and with the anticipation that someday they may build a cabin. As a result of their wishes and, and timing being right, they were able to build this beautiful 5,000 square foot lodge. We bought the property uh, about 35 years ago and um, it's a place that we visited many, many times. We actually used to drive up here for, with friends and we camped on the other side of the river. And when this property became available for sale, we decided that uh, this was a good opportunity to start a little cabin over here on, on our side. It's obviously mushroomed into a little bit more than our cabin. It's become our residence. And over the years, my husband has continued to purchase opportunities, a property that came up along the way. So we've bought the Lakeshore property and we've been able to buy a lot of the woodlands that we now have adjacent to the house property. They live on 212 acres, uh, a lot of it heavily forested. It butts up against the uh, Flint Steel River for almost a mile. It has significant Lake Superior frontage, all sugar sand beach that runs in either direction for up to 14 miles. Um, when you get out there and you look to the left and you look to the right, all you see is sand beach and the wonderful beauty that Lake Superior is. Uh, my mother-in-law thought this would be a good place for us to live. So she said, well, let's just uh, think about building a house up there. By that time, there was other homes up here, a lot of driveways close by down the road. When you come here, you see them. And um, so she decided to build up here in 1989. Uh, she tried it out and decided that she really wanted this for a vacation home because we were still working full time. And we really weren't out here to keep her company. So this became a vacation place for a few years. And in later in the 90s, we all got together and agreed that we could we could all really enjoy having a home out here and staying out here as a family. So that's what we did. And in 1999, we did an additional wing on the house. And my husband had a huge part in constructing the house. I pridefully say that he handled every piece of wood that went into the home, outside and inside. All the wood came from the UP. This beautiful house done with natural woods. This is cedar siding, you have a stone facing outside the garage and on the driveway. Comes with three bedrooms, large bedrooms, including a loft. Also, there's plenty of other sleeping areas in here that can be converted to somehow or another accommodate your guests. Um, it's got four bathrooms. It's got a wraparound deck that you can we'll take a cup of coffee. By the time you get around the other side, you might need some more coffee. Uh, they have not only a beautiful drive coming in, but when you do get to the property, it's got a paved driveway. It's got two large storage buildings. Uh, it's got a two and a half, three car garage attached. We got wildlife here just as we're sitting here. I have hummingbirds buzzing around my head. We have all kinds of wildlife. Anything that's in the Northwoods, you can find here. We ended up buying property that was on the lakefront and have a small cottage there that was a home in the summertime to my grandkids, I think almost every weekend, if that was possible to do. There are kayakers uh, that thoroughly love this river. It's quiet and it's actually promoted as a quiet kayak river. And so that's always kind of interesting on the back. If I'm on the back deck of the house, you can hear them paddling down below at the river. The area is primarily known for the Porcupine Mountains. Uh, whether it's summer or winter, you can do the hiking in the summer. It's a wonderful ski hill in the wintertime. There's uh, an innumerable amounts of, of snowmobile trails that are accessible from here. Very accessible within just a few minutes. It's in the heart of the North Country. It's in the heart of recreation land. We have snowmobiling, we, we have skiing, we have downhill skiing and cross-country skiing. You have, in the summertime, uh, ATVs, you can uh, have mountain bikes, um, walk the beaches, fish, hunt, um, mushroom, uh, watch wildlife, take photography. There's so much to do here, and this campus is perfect because you're at the end of the road. You're not gonna have traffic going by your place. It's your own little paradise. If you live here, you are living in the most beautiful place on earth and your neighbors that you have all have the same feeling. It's the kind of place everybody would like to live in. <laughs>